to draw a flower pot, we're going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. And we're going to start by drawing an ellipse, which is a tricky kind of shape. It's, it's actually, it's a circle that's been squashed. It's not an oval. An oval is more of a square with round corners. Um, so this is, it's a circle that's been squashed. And then we want to drop lines straight down from the side like that to about there. And then we're going to copy this curve just underneath there like that. And then we want to take the flower pot down at an angle, something like that. And when you get to the bottom, then join those two lines again with a curve like that. Now in here, what we need to do is to draw another ellipse just inside it. And draw this very, very gently because we're going to erase this later. And if you press too hard, you're going to have difficulties. Why not join me on Patreon for images, help sheets, advice and a whole lot more. I'm going to start by drawing around this outside here and then down and around the bottom of this. So this is kind of the shoulder of the flower pot that's going to come around like that. And then we're going to draw the inside um, ellipse. So that will come around like that. And then here we're going to let that just sort of fade away into dots. Now come down the side. You can maybe add some little wiggles in there to give it a bit of texture. Like that, make it look a bit older. And then join these lines together at the bottom with a curve. Now here we're going to have like a, a curving shadow, something like that in there. And do some vertical lines to create this shadow. And then follow down that sort of curved shape. And you can maybe make those lines slightly wider apart in the middle. And, and then as you come to the edge, you can make them closer together again. And that makes them look a bit darker. In there too. Now we don't want to draw the line around here. We want to because that's just we can make it a little bit more subtle just by drawing these little lines downwards like that around the edge, getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and that kind of gives this feeling of the thickness of the edge of the flower pot there. And we might draw a couple more sort of down there like that, getting smaller as we go around. Here we need some shadow, so we'll just draw a very thin kind of triangle coming in there, like that. And then we're going to draw curves, slightly curving little lines coming down the edge here. Not right to the edge, because we have this kind of ambient light, it's called, that's sort of reflecting on the side. Um, so the shadow doesn't go right to the edge like that. We might have one or two on this side as well, which we can add in. This is mostly, we can put these in here, mostly to give it this kind of texture really, like that. And you might want to have a bit more under there. Might have a bit more, just a little line in across there, maybe a couple of little lines like that. Now the shadow, is going to be sort of coming out this way slightly at an angle. So I'm going to turn the paper around a little bit like that and I'm going to flick these lines out like that. So you get a thick part at the front of the line and thin at the end where it's flicked. And you need to sort of <laughs> control this a little bit. So take your time. And it doesn't matter that they're not all parallel because that, that's shadows like that. <laughs> and then we're going to do some lines here as well. This is called cross hatching. And we can sort of take that in there, getting further apart and getting smaller as well. We can maybe do a bit of cross hatching in here as well, just to make that a bit stronger, that shadow. And this will be curved here, a little bit of cross hatching to there. And there you go, how to draw a flower pot. And if you want to know how to paint it in watercolour, come and join me and all my other patrons on patreon.com 
You'll find the link just above. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.